A team of German engineers decided to put the Milwaukee 8 through a merciless 30,000 mile test run. After this endurance test, they completely disassembled the engine and in this video I will tell you what they found. What comes to your mind when you think about Harley motorcycles? Most people associate these bikes with large V-twin engines, freedom on the road and maybe the iconic American vibe. But what about reliability? Why do people not immediately think about reliability when it comes to Harleys? Are they even reliable at all? Or are the bikes all about chrome and character? Well, one reason why Harley's long-term reliability doesn't get much attention is because of its troublesome past. Yep, every legend has a few skeletons in the closet and so does Harley. The company's reputation took a hit in the 70s and the early 80s. During that time, Harley's flagship engine, the shovel head, was said to have leaking gaskets, excessive wear and would consume oil regularly. It wasn't exactly a shining moment for the brand. Today, those stories from the AMF era are still passed around like campfire tales. I recently overheard two bikers chatting about the shovel head and one of them said, a Harley that doesn't leak oil is not a real Harley. Both laughed, nodded and agreed. Anecdotes like these have become a running joke among bikers, but they also shaped Harley's reputation for decades. Just because it was true back then, it doesn't mean it's true now. Which brings us to the million dollar question. Is Harley's current flagship engine, the Milwaukee 8, just as unreliable or has Harley finally turned the corner. For the test, a team of German engineers decided to grab the Milwaukee 8 Softail Heritage from the current model lineup and rode it on twisty alpine roads, high-speed autobahn tracks, never-ending iron butt challenges and the madness of everyday traffic. After 30,000 miles, they tore the bike apart piece by piece to see how it held up. And let me tell you, the results were not what you might expect. First things first, the engineers had to agree on a testing procedure. Just ride a bike for 30,000 miles and see what happens. Sounds simple, right? But let's be honest, this wasn't going to be a leisurely cruise. This was about pushing a Harley to its limits. Every hiccup, rattle or technical gremlin that popped up during the test was meticulously documented. No detail was too small, because when you're testing reliability, the devil's in the details. Once the test bike hits the magic 32,000 mile mark, it was time for the real fun to begin. The engine and gearbox were stripped down to the bare bones piece by piece and handed over to the experts for a thorough inspection. Think of it as a motorcycle autopsy. And the experts didn't just eyeball the bike. They took precise measurements of every critical component prone to wear and tear. Especially the oil pump, the camshaft, crankshaft, pistons, cylinders, the gearbox and the clutch. Everything was compared to the original factory specs to see how much wear had actually occurred. By examining the wear on the parts, they could paint a clear picture of how well the Milwaukee 8 held up under pressure. The goal of this endurance test Test wasn't just to see if the bike could survive, it was to uncover any weaknesses and figure out where Harley could improve. After all, even the best machines have room to grow. And the bike was not spared in the process. It is ridden by different riders with different riding styles on a wide variety of roads, such as high-speed motorways and stop-and-go sections in the city. So you may ask now, how does the test result usually end? In the worst case scenario, a motorbike stops working and does not complete the distance. This has already happened a few times with other well-known motorbike manufacturers like Triumph. But hey, this is exactly what a stress test is for. On the flip side, in the best case scenario, the bike would emerge with minimal wear, ready to be reassembled and ridden off into the sunset again. So which camp did the Harley fall into? You're about to find out. This epic test was organized by Germany's largest motorcycle magazine Motorrad, so a big thanks to the crew and now without further ado, let's dive into the results. Now the first result may be an obvious one, but it is also the most important one. The Milwaukee 8 Heritage has survived the entire test distance without any major issues. That's no small feat since not every bike can say the same. Now let's talk about the little hiccups that popped up during the test. Because no bike is perfect and so is a Harley. For example, the rear light bulb decided to quit on multiple occasions and had to be replaced. This issue has been resolved by model year 2025 since Harley introduced the LED real light for the Softail Heritage. Then there's a classic Harley moisture issue with the speedometer, which gets a little foggy after a while, especially if you ride the bike in the rain a lot. Also the exhaust started to rust on the inside over time. It's like the bike was trying to build its own ecosystem. And there was a random red light on the dash that kept lighting up for no reason. Thankfully a quick speedometer recalibration by the dealer sorted the issue out. That was pretty much it. So all in all, tiny negligible issues that barely matter in the grand scheme of things. But now, let's get to the real interesting part. What did the engineers find when they cracked open the engine, gearbox and the clutch? Now here's the short version for you. After more than 30k miles, the engine is in fantastic shape. There are two exceptions, but most of the critical components showed either minimal wear or no wear at all. 
The engineers concluded that the majority of the parts could be slapped back together and reused without needing replacement. Talk about durability. But now let's dive deeper and look at individual engine parts. First up the valves. Both the intake and outtake valve stems as well as the valve springs are still within production tolerances. Now translation, they are almost as good as new. Next the crankshaft, the counterbalance shaft and the camshaft. These heavy duty components are also within production tolerances, meaning they are practically fresh out of the factory. No replacement needed here. The connecting rods and shells for the pistons have no wear at all. Now the oil pump does have slight traces of grinding. Apparently a tiny metal splitter decided to take a joyride through it, but before you panic the marks are purely cosmetic and don't affect the pump's functionality. No replacement necessary either. The gearbox is also in very good condition and shows almost no signs of wear. Only a shift fork shows a little scratch but this is a purely visual flaw and doesn't require repair or replacement. So far so good. None of the mentioned components need to be replaced but, and there's always a but, two parts did show some wear after the long haul test. Before I go on, I just want to take a moment to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos. Creating these videos is a true labor of love, motorcycling is my passion and I'm so grateful to share that joy with all of you. If what I'm doing resonates with you, I'd be thrilled if you consider subscribing to my channel. Your support means the world to me and helps this little community grow, allowing me to reach even more fellow riders and enthusiasts. Together we can keep the love of motorcycling alive and thriving. Thank you for being part of this journey with me. And now let's take a look at parts which showed some wear. Let's talk about the clutch and the pistons. Now one piston has slight wear that is still within the operating tolerance. The second piston is close to the wear limit, but this does not mean that the piston will stop working, since the production tolerances are rather strict. This could lead to slight oil consumption in the long run and low compression. But here's the kicker, the engine didn't consume oil during the test and also not after the test. And the compression drop is so minimal that it's practically a non-issue. So no need to sound the alarms here. The piston free play could be due to the fact that the the rear cylinder gets traditionally hotter on Harleys, because they are not directly in the airstream. This can reflect in slightly higher wear of the rear piston. When it comes to the piston rings, one piston ring is within the production tolerances, aka as good as new, while the other shows minor wear. If you're about to crack open the engine anyway, you could replace it for the peace of mind. But if not, it's a non-issue, slight wear on piston rings isn't going to ruin your ride. The cylinder walls are in pristine condition and even show factory production marks. No issue with the cylinders at all. The second components with some wear is the clutch. A few clutch discs show slight signs of wear, but let's be real here. This is completely normal for high torque engines like the Milwaukee 8. In practice it is not a big deal, but if it bothers you, just replace the discs and keep on riding. It is an easy fix. So long story short, if you plan to open the engine anyway, replace the piston rings and you're good to go for another 30,000 miles. If you don't plan it, leave it as is and enjoy many further miles with it, because the engine turns out to be super reliable and durable. Usually at the end of the test each motorcycle gets a reliability score. The Harley Softail with the Milwaukee 8 engine achieved the highest score and thus gained the first place in the list of the most reliable motorcycles. Now that's a rumor worth spreading. In conclusion, you can lay back and enjoy the Milwaukee 8 bikes without caring too much about reliability. Maybe this is exactly the reason why we're not talking about reliability these days. Because the current engine generation is highly reliable and gets a well deserved first place for long term stability. Sure there can be always Monday models with some defects where something might break down or something went wrong during the production. This can always happen for all brands. But ultimately the Milwaukee 8 engine is pretty robust. And this is likely to be true for all other Milwaukee 8 models such as the touring bikes or other cruisers. Yes, some early models had some well-known issues such as something or oil transfer. And if you're interested to learn more, check out my video in the link above. But these issues had been fixed by model year 2020. So as a conclusion I can say, well done Harley, thank you for watching and see you next time.